Hello and welcome. I'm Raghav and in this session we are going to learn about JMeter config elements and we are going to start with the HTTP config elements in JMeter. Now in JMeter config elements are very important. If you go to your JMeter, let me go and create a new test plan. Now also before I create a new test plan, this is the CSV dataset config that we created in our last session and this is also a type of config elements. So let me now save this and create a new test plan and if I do a right click and go to add we have config element here and then here you can see a lot of config elements. We have already seen CSV dataset config then we have some config elements for the HTTP requests then we have DNS cache manager, FTP, HTTP authorization manager, Java and so many config elements. Now here config elements are the elements that are executed before the sampler requests at the same level. What does we mean by this is if you add any config element in your test plan at any level it will run before the request samplers at that particular level. For example if you have added config element at a test plan level then any config element added here will run before any of the requests present at a test plan level. Also if I go to the JMeter documentation I will go to JMeter website this is jmeter.apache.org and if I go to the user manual here and if I go to point number 18 that is component reference here you will see samplers, logic controllers and listeners and here we have config elements. So these are all the config elements whenever you need I will tell you some basic config elements and show you a demo but whenever you need you can check this list and whenever you require to add any of the config elements you can read from here. So for now in this session we are going to focus on the HTTP config elements and also if I go to this config element here you can see it says configuration elements can be used to set up defaults and variables for a later use by samplers and these elements are processed at the start of the scope in which they are found which I have already told you. I can also copy this and put it in the notes for your easy referencing and now I can go to my JMeter and create a thread group and then I can create some config elements on HTTP requests but a easier way will be I will go to my browser I am going to a sample demo application that is orange hrm so this is the sample demo application I will also copy its link in the description of this video I will say demo app that I'm using and you can use any website for this in case this is down you can use any other website and here we have this username admin password admin123 and I can log in but I want to record this and for that I'm going to use the blaze meter chrome extension we have already learned how to use blaze meter chrome extension in the earlier session so you just need to create a blaze meter account and now I'm already logged in I can give any name here I can say jmeter demo1 and I can start recording also in the advanced option I am only including the HTTP and HTTPS patterns so I will click on record and I will go to this website again so that it gets recorded and I will add the username and password and click on login and just to verify I am on the home page I can click on something here let us say admin and you can see all this is getting recorded I can pause or I can stop I will just stop this I can run and check or I can edit and I can save I, if I go to edit here it will show me all the steps that are recorded and now here I can just download the JMX I will download the JMX here and it will download a gmx file and let me copy this gmx from here and I will go to my system where I have my jmeter and paste the gmx here so it has come here I will go to my jmeter and open this file 
which is jmeter demo one dot gmx and open and now here you can see it has created the entire test for us these are all the samplers it has recorded and these are all the config elements now before i go to each of the config elements and show you the details let me first try to add a listener so i can see the results i will say view results tree listener i hope you remember that view results tree listener is a memory consuming listener and we add it while we are creating or debugging our test plan but when we are actually running our performance test we should disable it so now i will save and run just to check if everything is running fine so here i'm i have started getting the results if i see the thread group i have a single user ramp up period is one and loop count is one and yes i have got all these i see some failures here so validate credentials has failed and if i check here this is the request so this has failed which is fine I do not worry about the failures as of now what I'm going to show you is all these config elements which are added by blaze meter so blaze meter has already added all the required config elements let us go to HTTP header manager and if you see here in your request in your HTTP request if you need any headers or even if it is an API request and you need any headers in your request you can always add it here and you can also use it for your API requests. If you have any headers in your API, you can add them here. Here is a add button. You can add from here or delete from here. And all these headers can come here. And the good part is it can be added at a top level for all the requests. So you do not have to add all the headers for every request. You can add it once in the HTTP header manager. Then we have user defined variables. Now here, if you want to add any variable, or if you have any value that needs to be referred multiple times in different requests, it is good to add them here as a variable and you can click on this add button to add more variables. And then this value can be used at multiple places by just referring this variable. If I show you, if I go to any of the requests, you can see this user defined variable base URL one is being used with this syntax that is dollar and within curly brackets we give the variable name. So this will be very handy, very useful when you want to reuse a value multiple times. Then we have HTTP request defaults. Now as of now this is empty even if I go to the advanced section it looks empty but what you can do here is for example in your multiple requests you are using some values which are being used as it is every time instead of adding everything in the HTTP request samplers, you can remove from here. So let us say this is being used every time. I can remove from here and go to the HTTP request defaults and I can add it here. So for every request, every HTTP request, the server name or IP will be referred from here. So now I can go to every HTTP request sampler and just remove all these server name values because it is now being referred from the http request defaults and if i save and run this it should still run fine and you can see we are getting the results here so this was http request defaults then we have dns cache manager now in case you are using load balancers at your servers you can use the dns cache manager if i click on this question mark it will take me to the documentation for dns cache manager and here you can see this element allows to test applications which have several servers behind load balancers and just in case you want to know more on load balancers you can go on my website automationstepbystep.com and here uh, if you go to stories you can see a section for stories here it will take you to all these mickey and mini stories so here you can read the story about DNS and then you can also read a story about load balancers here. So here and you can read this story and you will know what is load balancer and if you have any doubts whether you should be adding this in your test plan you can always talk to your dev or your network team if they are using load balancers and if you need to add the dns cache manager so basically this is used to clear cache on each iteration and use system dns resolver here so you can use these values then we have http authorization manager and this is for adding the authorization like username password 
and you can click on this add button to add a row and then you can use any of these mechanisms basic digest basic all these options we can use from here so in case your requests have any authorization we can add it from here then we have cookie manager so if you want to clear all the cookies on each iteration which is normally recommended for a performance test you can use this we also have all these options standard standard strict ignore cookies netscape default all this can be used here and similarly we have cache manager we want to clear the cache on each iteration otherwise the server will develop cache memory and we may not get a real time performance test results so we, we can clear the cache on each iteration and num max number of elements in cache also can be edited from here so these are the very basic config elements for a http request and all this we have got from blazemeter now in case you are not using blazemeter and you want to create your own test plan you can go to templates so you can go to file and go to templates or you can go to the templates icon from here and then here if you click on this drop down and here you will get a different templates i will select building an advanced web test plan and i will say create and if you see here it will give you all the commonly used config elements for a web test plan or the http requests and then you can start creating your test plan from here so this is how you can create the config elements for a web test plan or the http requests in jmeter i hope this was very useful for you do try some hands on and let me know if you face any issues i will meet you in the next session thank you for watching